What's up, family and friends? Friends, good afternoon from me to you. It's sunny and a nice day out here, and I want to drop this week, quick one, which I titled Revert to Your Original. Revert to Your Original. You have to go back to your roots, especially you Africans. So, um, if you are used to editing uh, like uh, some pictures or uh, snap, um, like um, screenshot you make, you, you edit it and save it. When you go back to it and click to edit, it will give you another option saying revert to original. Revert to original, that's going back to a former condition. So I check up on dictionary and the revert means to go back to a former condition, former practice, former subject or former belief. And I want to speak on those four because it affects all of us in reality. You were born human. None of us were born godly. None of us were born spiritual. None of us were born with the knowledge of God. Every one of us, we are born with clean slate, having no God on it. Let me put it the way you understand. You're supposed to know that the human is 100% good. Human is 100% pure. Human is 100% holy. Human is 100% perfect until religion came. In other words, you were born Lucifer. Yes, Lucifer. Some of you hate to hear that word, but I'm beginning to love that word because since I know the meaning, no wonder they call Jesus Lucifer in the Bible because they know the meaning. They, when you talk about Satan, you say God created him, but they say, no, God created him Lucifer before he turned to Satan or devil. It means ugly, right? I love that word. I was born a Lucifer. You were born a Lucifer. All of us, we are born Lucifer. That's who we really are, light of the world, to give light to the world. We carry light. We have no darkness in us. We come out of darkness. We are the light that came out of darkness. Not Jesus, not God. You, you are the way, you are the truth, and you are the life. You are the light of the world. You were born Lucifer until religion came. Sin was found in you, and that sin is called religion. There is no such thing as sin in humanity. Sin is only found in religion. You were born human, 100% human, perfect human, having no need of anything outside you, outside the universe, until religion came and gave you a God that does not exist in this universe, telling you you cannot see that God. Yet they told you that that God created you in his own image and likeness. A God that created you in his own image and likeness, yet you cannot see him, does not exist. The God and goddess that make you made you in their own image are your parents and you can see them. If they are dead, you know they are dead. And no matter how dead they are, you still have their blood in you. No one can separate you from your parents. No one can separate you from your ancestors. But religion converted you into sheep, into goat, into serpent, into pig, into animals. Whatever it is you worshiping, religion converted you. You have to revert. How many of you remember Emmanuel Adeboye? You know, he's a football player. I think uh, uh, he's uh, either Nigerian or a Nigerian Togo, like that. He was a Christian. He was converted to Muslim. I mean, he was, I mean, he was a, a Muslim converted to Christianity. To Christianity. Then he reverted. He reverted to Islam. And given the reason why he, revert, he reverted. So you, you have been converted. It is time for you to revert. Go back to your root. You were not born a Christian. You are not born a Muslim. You are not born a Jew. You are not born any religion, uh, religious tag you have on. You are not born with that. You were converted to become that. So it is time for you to go back to your former condition as a human. Originally, you were born human. You have to go back to that. Blacks, you are Africans. You are Africans to the core. 
that is your originality so they converted you to jamaicans or caribbeans or whatever they converted us to into we need to go back to our root we need to go back to our former condition as great people as the original people on earth doing explore the people that invented all the things you are enjoying in the world today all of them many blacks many africans don't know that their ancestors invented everything the original of everything that exists today but they think no it is one god in the sky or maybe it is white white people so they exalt white people above them even when they see the cloth i wear they say okay you are wearing the english clothes you are wearing white people clothes no our ancestors wore clothes before white people why our ancestors clothed the white people that's why they wrote the bible and gave you that god created you naked then when you ate forbidden fruit you you sow fig, fig leaves to cover yourself but then you gave god the idea of killing an animal to make covering for you that god is a bloody god he cannot use incense without killing anything he must kill to to be god he must kill to survive humans don't kill to survive Humans complement to survive. Humans don't compete to survive. Human complements to survive. But religion is what came and put that sin in you, put that evil in you, not darkness. Religion cannot put darkness in you because you are the light. You came out of darkness. You are mother's womb. That is the darkness where you came out from. All right. And you came out black. You came out African. That's what I mean you african you came out black you never came out white so you are black you have to revert to your original no matter how much you bleach your skin no matter how much you educate yourself in 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 a european um, educa educational system or white men's educational system you remain black no matter how you hate being black you are coming back it's a must if you don't come back in this world in this life you're coming back in the next life of course you will not die forever you will die and be born again you come back to you come back to this life to continue living and when you get there and you find out there's no heaven there's no hell as they said when you are born here again you will begin to say the truth just as i'm saying it now you have to revert you have to go back to your original original condition how about original practice what our ancestors were practicing they see themselves as gods and goddesses they weren't worshiping any imaginary god though they told you that your ancestors were worshiping some crazy gods imaginary no it is some of them originally they weren't worshiping any imaginary god they were worshiping their ancestors in other words, they were honoring their ancestors. They weren't worshipping one devil. That's why in your African language, you cannot find that term devil. That word devil is strange in Africa. That word God is strange in Africa. We don't have any God and devil fighting each other. We don't have any God. No, Africa never have that. It was never our practice. Africans never practice using human beings for any ritual or anything. Africans never practice that. Even the one is using goat and the chicken for sacrifice of order. Africans never used that originally. We don't know our true history. We need to revert back to our practice, original practice. Same people as if Africans were using human beings as sacrifice. They would have used all those white men that came, invaded their land as sacrifice and not gave them any room to settle. Africans never use human beings as sacrifice. And they put it in the Bible that their God used human beings as sacrifice. Jephthah sacrificed his daughter to God. Of the Bible the God of the Bible sacrificing son for the sins of the so-called world as they say and yet you believe that your ancestors were killing twins no your ancestors started killing twins after religion came after Christianity came your ancestors started sacrificing human being after religion came after Christianity came after Islam came they are the one that taught Africans how to kill, how to maim, how to chain their fellow human beings down. You don't know that you have to revert to your original practice, Africans. Practice of, 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 of compassion, practice of hospitality, practice of French, uh, friendliness, practice of brotherhood. Brotherhood, brotherhood, they destroy brotherhood and give us neighborhood. Neighborhood is not helping us Africa. We are not used to building boundaries and the, and the walls against ourselves. We were one family until they came and brought division, brought hate among us. We have to revert to the original 
original practice of Africans. All right. Also, what how about subject? Revert to original subject. What is the subject? We are the subject. Truth is the subject. The Africans hold it. You should know yourself. Man, know yourself. Woman, know yourself. You are Akebulams. You are gods and goddesses. You are kings and queens. You don't need any king over your life. No one should be your king. King is a strengthen. Foreigners brought kingship among us. We were brethren. We were gods and goddesses. You don't need king. King is only over the warriors. King is only over the security of the, of, of, of the land. Kings, we are not meant to be ruling the whole people, a whole country, a whole nation. No, elders do that. And every family produce elders. Pro pro produce an elder to represent them in the, in the gathering of the elders. So rulers, all of them. All of, all of them were, okay, see how they put it in the Bible. They say God has made you kings and Jesus is king of kings. Do you see how they put it? So Jesus is the king that make other kings his slaves. You say you are slave of Christ. You are slave of God. You know, being a king over the whole people is not African subject. It is foreign. Homosexuality is not our subject. We have to go back to our original subject where we see each other as human beings and where we have the law of opposite where there is god there is goddess where there is male there is female where there is woman there is man where there is up there is down that is the written that's why when you follow the subject they give to you you end up being a moron and you begin to attack even yourself attack your ancestors what will make you to reject your ancestors for imaginary beings? Faith, religion, that's what converted you from being human to sheep. And you say you are proud to be sheep of Christ. You are proud to be sheep of God. You are stupid saying that. You're supposed to be proud of being yourself. Revert to yourself. Revert to your original subject. No God will send his son to die for you. You don't need any white man to die for you. No white man can save you. Because the day a white man save you, they know they cannot take a da anything from you anymore. You begin to recover your heritage. You think they're going to give you institutions to help you, you know, know yourself, come to yourself? No. They know when you come to yourself, you will regain your position again as number one, original in the whole world, under the sun yes you produce them so they know when you take place you begin to subdue them again put them where they belong and they will start living like humans again and it will be for better world for all of us okay the final one how about belief some of you will say but you say you don't believe you are not a believer of course i don't believe i'm not a believer but this is what i say if you must have a belief why not have your original african belief why are you having European belief? Why are you having Arab, uh, Arabic belief? Why not have African belief? Of course, our African ancestors believe in certain things. Not all of them, some of them. Especially those that claim to be kings or claim to be chiefs. Or those that use force to force people to accept their belief. You are, you are free to believe anything. But keep it to yourself. If you make it public, or if you converted me to be, believe that, then I need proof. I have every right to demand for proof. It's a natural thing. I don't even have to demand for it before you get, show it to me. If you tell me something exists, then I need the proof. Show me that. Don't tell me I cannot see it. Oh, I will see it over my dead body. No. Anything I will see over my dead body is useless to me. I don't need it. The dead need not know nothing. They say you will live again, yes, in this world. You are not living in another world after this, no. This is your world, you are coming back here. You're supposed to know that. So if you must have belief, have African belief. I don't have belief, I have knowledge. Knowledge is the greatest. Nobody can make anything in this world happen by believing. No. We are no longer living in the age of believing. This is the age of knowing. And you are still asking me, what do you want us to believe now? Since you say Christianity is, is wrong, since you say Islam is wrong, since you say every religion is wrong, since you say all oh, the men of God are criminal, why do you want us to believe now? Nothing. Know everything. Begin to question everything. That's how you, we know everything. You have to set yourself free. You have to revert 
to original belief if you want to believe every religion in this world originated in african spirituality african faith african belief remember is belief is not knowledge so anybody can come up with anything is based on hearsay is based on on fairy tale is based on myths it is based on stories and you can tell your own even better i don't have belief and i'm not encouraging you to have belief but if you must have a belief why not have the original one you are one you are own africans your own belief system is the original one judaism came out of it christianity came out of it islam came out of it so why are you going for imitation why are you celebrating imitation when you you can have the original and that original is naturally yours it's your heritage you inherited it whether good or bad and it is your own belief that will work for you better than foreign belief foreign belief was designed to keep you low nobody can give you their belief for you to be uh, like them or be uh, better than them no they give you their belief to keep you down if you read their bible you see how they do it they strip you your language strip you your culture everything and introduce their own to you that's why you see many educated africans today still believe that white men give them civilization they don't know how many civilizations their ancestors our african ancestors had but they know the one white man white, 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 white man give to them because of what they were trained in white man's instruction whether you call it political institution whether you call it secular institution or, or spiritual institution or religious institutions all of them as we as we now in africa every institution of learning in africa has the is foreign institutions we are yet to have our own you see the Igbo people in nigeria saying oh we don't want Igbo language to die then why not have a school where every course is taught with Igbo language not with english language but i grew up in a primary school where they used to flog us if you speak Igbo language in Igbo land they call it um, uh, local dialect don't speak it we speak english they force us to speak english so i laugh when some people say okay why are you, you are against christianity say what people give you christianity why are you still speaking english i can't speak chinese because nobody taught me chinese i was forced to learn english in school i was flogged you speak Igbo, they flog you they ask you need that raise your hands close your eyes they punish you in the public of Igwe mad just because you spoke your own tongue that's how africans lost their originality because when you register that you are child in that school you know that that's the separating us of separating that child from the root but there is opportunity there is still chance opportunity for us to go back if not in this world we will go back because of what the sun we keep shining no one can stop the sun from shining yes we lost our originality but there is hope for restoration and recovery we will restore our power and recover our heritage we are reverting back we are going back to our root we are going back to our original africans are the or original you are original revert to your original you say you're telling me don't follow god don't follow jesus well what who do you want me to follow follow yourself go back to yourself you are the way you are the truth you are the life jesus does not exist jesus is not the way jesus is not the truth jesus is not the life you are so it's time you wake up and stop being a stupid adult in the name of faith stop being a stupid adult in the name of fear fear and ignorance is why you are a christian fear and ignorance is why you are a muslim fear and ignorance is why you are a jew i'm not blaming you that you are you are converted to be a christian a muslim or a jew no but if you continue in it now you are an adult i blame you for that your your, your parents and religious leaders converted you into whatever religion you are in today now you are you are an, an, an adult you can do your own research you can read and understand it is time you tell yourself the truth and revert to your original later on today i'll be speaking on why i don't go to church and it will be great peace